This is Bunny from Backward Story, and welcome to another cover design analysis vlog. Today, we are featuring an Ember in the Ashes by Sana Tahir, which is brand new and smoking hot. It is all over the place on social media. It is on the New York Times bestseller list. It is on the Barnes & Noble bestseller list, Amazon bestseller list everywhere everybody is talking about this wonderful book and it looks gorgeous in person and it is a beautiful spring day as you can see we've got foliage we've got grass trees birds chirping in the background i can finally do my videos outside again and it's lovely um so today we are going to do an in-depth look at an ember in the ashes and this is how the book looks in person and what's really cool is that if you look at the uh words here they look like they've been like engraved into the uh rock and if you feel the book can you hear that it's got this really cool feel to it in the embossing because it's like textured embossing and it's not just embossed and so it actually feels kind of um embossed into it at the same time and you may not notice it but there are some figures um gracing the cover of this book and here's one right down here there is one hiding in the h there's one hanging out up here. So just take a look at this cover. See what you can find. There's some really cool stuff to see. This is your spine and your back. And one of the really cool things about this book is the end paper. It is gorgeous. Like when you just open the book, it doesn't have anything super, super special going on. The spine is gold, which is neat. Um, this is kind of glossy. And it does have the author's initials on the front, which is pretty cool. But the end papers, I love them. It is a map, and everybody always wants a map in a fantasy world. And to have the map be part of the end paper is really cool, I think. Especially when, when you turn the book over and open it on the back, the end papers are different, but it is still a map. This time it is a map of the academy in the book. And I just think that is really, really awesome. And I like that. And then we'll see the first few pages, how it looks. How the book opens up. I always like to see if the um, front has made its way in at all because that means the book was made with more money. It's a little more expensive. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of decoration going on on the interior here. It's just a normal book on the inside. But the end papers and the front of this book make it really, really awesome to look at. And I just wanted to share that with you. It is one of the biggest titles of the spring. It's a really good book, first in a brand new series. So check it out the next time you're in the bookstore or loading up your e-reader. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.